Hi Sharon, it's Ken. Um, I put this quick video together for you instead of sending you a lengthy email with a lot of confusing information in it. So this should be a little bit easier to digest. Um, this is, by the way, from the Cromford Report. This is a local data collection company here in the Valley. They only deal specifically with the Phoenix market. Um, and what I did, since Deborah has a search set up for you and she selected these zip codes, I went ahead for illustration purposes and put all this information together based on that those areas. And I narrowed it down to the price range that we're working in because these obviously these statistics will change depending on the price range. So three to four hundred thousand normal sales, single family residence, and these are the zip codes we're in. And what you can see here is as of May this year, average days on market is 18.5 days. That's pretty quick or pretty short. And that number might actually be a little bit skewed. So I wanted to get a more recent number than that. So as of the last 20 days, I went ahead and pulled the original search that Deb has set up for you for current listings and I switched it from active listings to closed and I went back 20 days. So these are all closed in the last 20 days and what I wanted to pay attention to was agent days on market for the most recent homes all in, in and around the price range that we're talking about, 360, 340, 410. Um, and the days on market are two, three, six, eight, one. You get the idea, four, three. Uh, and keep in mind, when you see a five days on market, the agents putting this home on the market, say on a Thursday, it's not going, they're not going to allow showings till say Saturday to build a little interest. So you've already got two days on the market. Then you've got uh, another instruction in the listing that says we'll review all offers on Monday. So by the time they go under contract, it's been four or five days, but in actuality, they probably got offers that first, sec first or second day, so it's pretty quick. Um, the next thing I wanted to kind of share with you is, and this is probably most important as far as how competitive things are, these are the closings per month above list price. So this is the number of or percentage of homes that are selling above asking price in the market. And I, I did the same thing. I covered the same zip codes. Um, I believe I should have in here price range. I can't seem to find it right now, but the, these these are actually uh, three to four hundred thousand dollars. And what we found is, oh, I'm sorry, here they are. In the three to four hundred thousand dollar price range, there were five hundred thirty eight homes sold since January 2021, and 71 percent of those homes sold above list price. So it's and this is for the last one, two, three, six months. Keep in mind that, as you can see here, this is for all of the data that you see below. You can see that those days, that, that percentage has increased every month after month. So this 71% for since the beginning of the year in this price range is probably a little bit higher now than it, was, than it is for the whole year here. Uh, also, what's was specific to us is how much are these homes selling above lists and this three to four hundred thousand dollar range 382 of them sold for seventeen thousand four hundred forty eight dollars above list on average now some of them could have sold at list we have seen homes sell for and this is absolutely absolutely the opposite end of the spectrum we've seen them sell for a hundred plus thousand over asking but that's probably a very special home with a lot of really you know, just that perfect home and somebody from California just happened to see it and pay cash and they didn't care about the money, they just wanted the house. But uh, this gives us a feel for what we can expect um, to need if we want to win that house, if it's the, if it's the right house, of course. So this is, um, again, this is just some quick information. I don't have anything more for you right now. When we do get to a point where we find the right house, in the right area, I will use the same data, only I'll narrow it down to a specific zip code or a specific city. So we can help, it'll help us determine, you know, how are things in that particular area selling and maybe we won't have to be as aggressive or maybe we might wanna be a little more aggressive depending on the data. So um, again, I hope this helps. I know it's a lot of information. I don't mean to, I don't mean to scare you. I know it will reach our goal. It's just, I just wanted to give you an idea of how, where we stand right now. So let me know if you have any questions at all, and um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.